Okay, so today this video is going to be about installing Apache Airflow on a Ubuntu 20.4 VM virtual machine using sitting on VMware which is sitting on Windows 10. And this in fact is the only way that I have actually been able to get it to work for myself. There's other instructions, for example, putting it on Windows or putting it on a uh, Windows subs subsystem for Linux or putting it on a Mac and all those instructions. I have not been able to get it to work, but only on Ubuntu, which is sitting on a VM, is the only way that I've been able to get it to work. So this is what I'm going to show you. I have all the instructions here, which are going to be posted under the video as well. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm going to delete this folder because that's what we're going to end up with. That's the environment. So I'm going to delete it now and then just recreate it in front of you just now. So the first thing is to assume that Condor is installed and Python 3 is already installed as well. I'm going to create all this on the desktop. So first, open out a terminal and then change directory <coughs> to the desktop. Let's just go here again. Change to the desktop from here. That's from fresh. And then make a directory called Airflow Tutorial. Then change into that directory. Now I'm going to create a Condor environment with Python 3.7. Click yes, to where it goes, another yes, and then activate this airflow environment, Condor environment for airflow, and now check out the path that I have. Because I'm going to use this path and put it into the an environment variable, which is going to be called Airflow Home. And I use this instruction here to do that, the export instruction. Let's scroll up a bit. And then now we've done that. I want to do is install some dependencies. Control Shift V is the way to paste in Linux sudo password. And that's done. And now we're going to install Airflow plus extras using pip. So first I have to do this. I have to make sure I install GCC. Otherwise I get some errors when I do the next bit, which is to install Apache Airflow with some extra bits inside. The extra bits inside that we have are GCP, Stats D and Sentry. This bit takes a while longer. And that's done. So now we install some packages that we're going to use later within this environment. 
first one is cryptography and the second one is pip install PySpark so that's done now we can check that this has all gone in okay by just checking the version of airflow that we have here and this is correct because it's 1.10.10 .10. and if you've installed airflow before like I have done here you'll get this warning that says you've got this airflow config file somewhere else on the system and now it's going to ignore this one nor that one and it's going to only use this one and so you so it's nothing to really worry about and now we want to start airflow the web servers and the and the scheduler and we're going to do this from the terminal so in this in, in this terminal here we've already ex, um, exported the environment variable so we don't have to do that again and we already have activated the envir the condor environment as well but we are going to need two terminal windows so I'm going to have to do that on the second one because we need one terminal window for the web server and another one for the scheduler but first in this one I'm going to just initialize the database then on this one my first <coughs> terminal I'm just going to start Apache Airflow web server then I'm going to leave that running while I open out a new window just snap that in underneath and then first browse I just like to browse to the correct directory and then activate the environment and then apply the environment variable then I've already done these things in the first terminal all I want in the second terminal is to start the scheduler Okay, so both of these things are running. Now what I can do is I can open up a browser and put this in it, localhost 8080. Because that's where Apache Airflow web console is going to be. Here's my browser. I'll just paste this in. And there you have it. This is the Apache Airflow web console and we will go into more detail about this next time thank you very much for watching